All right, guys, this is a project that I did here. I built, uh, as you can see, maybe it's too clear, a sneeze guard. Um, it's gonna be a deli uh, fridge back there. So this is a six feet in length. And this one is basically um, 12 inch. So a total is 16 inch, four inch up here, 16 inch in height. But anyway, um, yeah, I used the plexiglass. Now, so plexiglass, you can do glass, tempered glass, or plexiglass. I like to, you know, DIY uh, plexiglass. I mean, tempered glass, you have to order it and specifically the size. <clears throat> You can't really manipulate it around, but the plexiglass, you can cut it and choose a specific size that you want on your own. Obviously, you can do that with the tempered glass on your own. Uh, you can do the tempered glass by specifically ordering the size. But anyway, I ordered these corner one, which it's uh, potentially uh, extended out here, but I decided to, uh, you know, uh, to just go the front sides here and also utilizing the two existing uh, clip, uh, clams here for uh, the three middle just to have it secure and tight. And this is uh, pretty, uh, pretty sturdy, pretty tight on. Uh, so again, all this cost me, this thing cost me 190, that one 190, plexiglass 125, so you look at three under, um, under five hundred dollars. Now, if you were to order this uh, at a, obviously we're under budget. We're just trying to keep on the budget. Most of the stuff we're trying to do here is DIY for this commercial space here. Um, so if you were to buy a set of these in this length, um, that's already built in and all that stuff. Uh, that runs you over, uh, I would say, $3,000. I mean, you do some research on it, each of these posts itself is a, a ridiculous price. So, um, so the main purpose here is to save money, and, and that's not even counting the glass. So I'm not even sure how much a glass quote is gonna be for this length. So I would say in the north of $5,000 easily, okay? Um, again, all these holes uh, drill, so I'll have a link in the description below to as well, I'll uh, have this built. Also, I'm gonna build that one right there too. And it's gonna be a, you know, little small cooking station here too. So you do need to have a sneeze guard span here too as well. But um, that's that guys. Uh, and so um, what was I saying? Um, Oh yeah, the plexiglass um, is a quarter inch thick. So uh, you can easily cut them. Oh yeah, the drill, drill into to these uh, countertop. These a quart countertop, you can just get um, very easily to drill. One of these bit here. This is, uh, and these are a 316, 316 bit. You get a length, long one, drill through it. Uh, and make sure you have a hammer, a hammer drill. Um, this this Makita is nice. It's pretty reasonable to a Home Depot. I think they run around 250 or something like that, a pair of these. But uh, there's an option here for a hammer drill. Um, high, uh, high or slow. So I do normally when I drill, I do slow, okay? So, so these are the option for the hammer drill. So basically when you drill the, the, the uh, concrete or quartz countertop, it basically not only it drills, but it also have a hammer option. So it'll make it easier to drill, okay? Obviously I drill all these here. You can see here, 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 these here. All right guys, that's it. If you like my idea, save some money. I mean, this whole budget cost me under $500. Again, if you were to buy it and have, I mean, you buy it and then you install yourself, 
you're running around five, um, I would say north of 5,000. So, um, and if you're to hire someone, that's add to the cost of it to us well. So, all right guys, um, that's it. Do like and subscribe to my video. Cheers.